U-4 is lying low at a depth of 100 meters as British warships slowly circle overhead. U-4 managed to infiltrate an enemy convoy and torpedo a large tanker, sending it to the bottom immediately. Now we wait for our time to strike again. The enemy warships are already starting to disengage from the hunt. They have been pursuing us for about 30 minutes now and have not managed to drop depth charges on us. It's only a matter of time before U-4 will be able to surface and re-engage the convoy. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here and welcome back into the control room of U-4. We are coming up to Periscope depth now as there were warships operating directly above us, although I think they are long gone. We are going to go to the Periscope and take a look and see what is going on up there. I would like to re-engage this convoy. We just attacked it and managed to torpedo a tanker. Okay, scope's up. Let's take a look. Raise it a little bit more. The weather is getting worse, it seems. It's starting to rain quite a lot. Shipwreck 165. That's got to be where the tanker was. And there are the freighters. Saw something out there off to 035 degrees. Yep, there's an enemy freighter. It's the rest of the convoy, it looks like. They may be all just sailing away. Let's quickly scan around for the warships. There were a couple of corvettes, and indeed there is one. Two one zero five. Let me get back on there. Any others? Oof! Wow, lots of corvettes still surrounding poor old little U four here. There's something way out there. Apparently, you can just see the tip of the mast. The waves align just right. As another warship, three corvettes. Okay, well, seeing as there are lots of warships still around us, this is the wreck right there with some lifeboats in the water. Okay, interesting. Very good to know. Well, we are still too close to all those warships to actually surface, but look at this. There's a Type 7, another U-boat here. I'm going to have this U-boat. We're going to order it around, and we may be able to conduct a wolf pack attack here. If we can get some distance between us and these Corvettes, we are golden. We can swing around and torpedo ships, maybe even on the surface. Let's see. What is our range here? How far are we? Just two kilometers away. Let's increase our speed just a little bit. And hopefully we remain undetected here. The weather conditions should help us evade these warships as well. Let's scan. Yeah, there we go. Because, I mean, it's raining. The waves are quite choppy. And there's a lot of clutter that the uh, hydrophone operators aboard these flower class corvettes have to sift through. This one is the biggest worry. All right, let's try to put some distance between us and hopefully we can surface and race around and re-engage. Around 10 minutes have passed and I think we're starting to lose contact. I want to say we may be... Oh, gosh, that still looks a little close for comfort, but they're kind of far out there. And with the poor weather conditions, they're four kilometers out. I'm going to risk it. Let's surface the boat. Come up to actually Dexawash. And these icons are new. We have rudder amidships, course to view, 90 degrees starboard, 90 degrees port. Okay, these are actually cool little buttons that will prove to be quite useful. Uh, those were just added. Okay, Dexawash, please. We also have that Type 7 U-boat way over there, closing in. And hopefully we can get her to come in and attack as well. Okay, let's get you on the radio room and rig for normal lighting, please. Morale starting to go up. Let's shoot this message off to BDU and increase our speed all ahead full. Make sure Let's assign some additional sailors to the diesel engines. 
And also, I'd like, yeah. No, begin working on torpedoes. There we go, there we go. Okay, deck's not totally a wash, just surface. And these weather conditions, I do not want to risk. Let's just hit the surface. The Type uh, 2 U-boat has such a low silhouette as well that I feel pretty comfortable doing this. Slightly risky, but you know, what's life without a little risk? Let's uh, assign additional sailors and all ahead flank. Let's start moving. The convoy's off to around 040 degrees. There are some freighters, and lagging behind them, we scan pretty much parallel to us, are two warships. Three warships. They're all lagging behind the convoy, though. This gives us a perfect opportunity to overtake them at a speed of around 13 knots here and fire off torpedoes. Let's check on the torpedo situation. What's the bow tube situation? Oh my gosh. Begin loading. Load those torpedoes, please, and thank you. All right, loading torpedoes. Now let's get ready for an attack. I have lost contact on that U-boat. I wish I could still control it from back here. I have no idea where she is, probably still lagging behind. I would like her to surface and uh, join in the attack. That would be awesome to conduct a wolf pack attack. Who knows, though? Maybe if I double back and see her, who knows? I'm not too concerned about it. We'll see. We are getting pretty close to the target area and we are turning in to attack. We are warming up our torpedoes first, though, just to make sure we don't have any duds. I am going to try to attack on the surface. There is one tiny problem with that, however, and that is the fact that the TDC cannot slave to the Uzo. So I am going to have to use the attack scope just on the surface. We still want to attack on the surface though because we are quite fast. And if we can attack, get in, and then run away before those Corvettes can even attack us, that would be ideal. Uh, so we are going to do a sort of speedboat attack with a Type 2. Not as uh, efficient as one with a Type 7. With the Type 7, we can outrun those Flower Class Corvettes on the surface. Uh, type 2, pretty iffy. Pretty iffy. Let's get rid of this, though. Okay, one torpedo already warmed up. Begin working on the next one, please. One of my engineers is quite tired at this point. Let's assign additional sailors and keep on closing in. Let's go. The convoy should be oh, yeah, dead, in, dead in front of us. And yeah, binoculars cannot lock onto target, so I'm gonna have to get Wolfgang onto the periscope. There are those Corvettes. They're all three just lagging behind. So these three ships are at our mercy. Part of me is wondering if I should just use the two centimeter cannon and try to plug a bunch of holes into uh, one of these freighters. This one back here, we may not be getting her, but these three right in front of us, Prime targets. Prime targets indeed. We can get close, fire off a fish, and hopefully get good results. Continue to close in. Yeah, these three are the ones I'm looking at, I think. These are getting a little too close to those Corvettes for comfort. We are still four kilometers out from the target area. All right, you buddy, Yohim, get onto the TDC. Let's get ready to rock and roll here. Let's see. And Wolfgang, get onto the attack scope, please. All right, perfect. Check the torpedo situation. Warm up that one. Okay, looking at our targets here. Lower the scope a little bit. Guess it doesn't matter. This one will be at target number one because she is closer. She is indeed closer. Let's identify her Empire Bell. Negative. We got mast, funnel, mast, mast. Mast, funnel. No. Mast, funnel, mast, mast. Empire Tower. Recognize the target as such. Go to the TDC. Range. We are going to fire at like 700 meters. 
or so. Angle on bow currently 80 degrees to port. Torpedo speed 44 knots. That's looking good. Ship speed 6.5, 6.3. That works for me. We are going to fire a single torpedo. Gyro angle receiver bow using the attack scope. Wheel launch tube number one. No salvo. Launch from the bridge. Let's check here. All right, things are looking good. Things are adjusting. Continue to close in on the target. All torpedoes are ready to rock and roll. Let's come left just a little bit. Please and thank you. There we go. Looking good on the target. Let's see, unknown, unknown. I actually didn't recognize her. Recognize, there we go. Unlock the target. Continue to close in. Make sure all my torpedoes are ready. Oh my gosh, this is just going to be brutal. Can I get... Yeah. You are still tired, aren't you? Okay, that's fine. We'll fire off our torpedoes and then get on the anti-aircraft gun. Unless I can get you onto the... Two centimeter negative. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Take a look. Continue to close, adjust course, five Close degrees, it. starboard. Take a look at the TDC situation. There we go. Adjusted, looking good. Barrel angle 354, 6.3 knots. Go back to the scope. Get ready to the timer. Let's slow up, slow down. Slow down a little bit. Get ready the time. And go lined up. Time from bow to stern. All right, starting. Add a couple of seconds. Because I did goof just a little bit. Target length, 112. I believe she's still going six knots, but who knows? That could change. Empire Unicorn, what a ship name. What a ship name. Okay, get ready, 30 seconds, probably be around 35. 35, 36. Yeah. All right, six knots. Okay, lock onto the target. All ahead flank. Adjust course. We're gonna rampage through them here. And I guess you can't use the TDC, you can't use the TDC. I need another, uh, another officer here. Oh well. So we'll torpedo this one, this one, and then maybe swing around and torpedo Empire Leopard before getting the heck out of here. One torpedo, one ship, one ship each. Okay, let's get distance, range the target. Set. 1300 meters. Enemy ship have sounded the alarms, not surprising. Let's reduce the speed, 5.9. See what do those alarms entail? A whole lot of nothing. <laughs> it sounds like we are worried about the Corvettes over to the right way out there. Let's watch them It's possible. They are going to start firing at us here momentarily Okay, adjust slightly Let's see is she turning looks like she is turning Go to the TDC here Torpedo speed is going to be 44 knots. Ship speed 5.6 because she is turning. We'll do five knots. 30 and go to 44 knots. Okay, no, set, set torpedo speed to 30. We'll set the proper speed, 5.4, and then switch it up to 44 knots. AOB's looking good. 
range 900. Torpedo tubes. Corvette bearing 050, speed's 90. Okay, tube one. That's tube two. Tube one, flood it. 3.5 meters, lower, bring that up to around 2.5. Hey, yep, I'm not surprised by the Corvette. Okay, we should be nice and close, 700 meters. Adjust. All right, 600 meters, AOB, 70, 60, yeah, 70 port, tube one, los. All right, 40 seconds to torpedo impact. Torpedo is running hot straight normal towards the target. She is turning to evade. I see our torpedo racing in the water, heading towards her. 20 seconds to impact, come left. Come on, torpedo. There we go. Impact right in the bow. Fire on the ship. There we go. Beautiful. And indeed, she is. She is going. I look away and down she goes. She went down pretty darn quickly. Time to get our second target in the line here. Come around. What's our speed still going flank? Where are those Corvettes? Way, way out there. Good. Okay, perfect. Line up target number two. Okay, no need. Unlock the one going down. Lifeboats on the water. We are not concerned with those. You are the next target, Empire Energy. We did hit a little forward, so this time we are going to want to lower our speed so we hit more midships. Let's drop it down to 6.8 knots. AOB 90, range still 700. Check torpedo tubes, tube two. Make sure these torpedo tubes are warmed up now that I'm thinking about it. We don't really have much time here to screw around. What's the situation? They're good, they're good. Torpedo tubes are good. Okay, flood tube two, flooding. And you know what? Tube 2's a G G7A can't adjust the speed during the tubes. G7A torpedo. Okay, yeah, flood it. We can't adjust the speed down here. That's fine, though. Go to the torpedo box. Select tube 2. Tube 2 selected. Branch the target. Quickly. Set, 840. Set, 700, looking good. Okay, everything's good. Tube two, los. Tube two is away. Let's see. And that torpedo is dead in the water. Is that a dud? I don't even understand how this has happened. Okay, adjust, adjust, adjust. Fascinating. Okay. Man the gun. Man the gun. That torpedo just went straight out the tube and dropped down to the sea floor. Okay, early war German torpedo moment. We'll launch our last torpedo at the Empire Leopard. Get on that gun. Please and thank you, quickly, if you can. No weather conditions are not incredibly good. We're gonna see, there we go, target. Target that one. You know what, maybe I can just get on it. And this is one you wish you had an 88, huh? These waves washing all over us like crazy. Come on. 
Let's see it. Let's have him fire. Okay, he's shooting at the wrong ship. Left full rudder. Okay, shoot at this one, please. Just keep on reloading. We'll see if this does anything. If not, we'll swing around and, uh, and fire our torpedo at her. This guy caused a little bit of damage here. Kind of aim for the water line. We are overstaying our welcome, though. Okay, rudder amidships. Let's change course, start heading down towards our target back here. Those Corvettes are there, which I am not a huge fan of. Shooting at. Keep shooting at other ships that I'm not too interested in. Empire Grey, Empire Leonard, that's the one in front of us. Aha, that's how we get them to actually properly. We are being shot at. Yep, there are rounds flying towards us. Okay, here we go. All right, get on the TDC. How about you? You get on the TDC, actually. There we go. Get our radio operator on there. Continue moving at flank speed. Those Corvettes are uh, shooting at us from way back, so yeah, they're not going to be too accurate. You can see the rounds just flying directly overhead. Okay, go to the periscope. We managed to start a fire on any of them? No, it doesn't look like it. Just still engaging with that gun. Oh, hello. And the one right in front is the target. Hello there. Empire Leopard Freighter. Same class. Recognize her as such. Continue to close in. Go to the torpedo control boxes. We will be launching tube three. Biro, uh, bow gyro receiver. Transmitting from the attack scope. Uh-oh. We've been hit. Okay. Again, repairing that. Oh, no. Oh, God. Get in. Get in. Continue racing away. All right. They're working on the leak almost immediately. Good. Turn on the pump. I'm actually surprised we managed to get hit. Okay. Stop shooting that gun. Go to... Go to... Get inside. All right. Get off. Get off of that. Okay. Let's look at the attack scope. Continue pressing the attack. Uh, if we don't get hit again, we're good. There we go. I'm enjoying the excitement. Okay, medical attention. You do that, you get on the TDC, please. All right, we've overstayed our welcome, that's for sure. All right, radio operators working on the wounded. Continue closing in on this ship. How about you? Get over here. Torpedo's looking good. Anything you can repair? Um, no, don't repair the conning tower. Don't get on the deck right now. It looks like we're not being fired upon anymore. Which is good. There was a star shell going up above us, though. Alright, radio operator. First aid. Conduct first aid on all these guys, please. Let's check TDC. Angle on bow is going to be starboard now. Adjust it. We will be firing tube 3 this time around. Tube 3, speed 44 knots. Flood it. Depth 2.5 meters. Tube 3 flooded. Adjust. We'll torpedo this one on our way out. Let's shoot off uh, these messages to BDU. Alright. 
first aid on uh, this other guy here. Just a minor flesh wound, at Vogel. You'll be fine, buddy. It builds character. <laughs> oh, brother. Oh, man. That turned out to be uh, uh, pretty eventful. And now we're just welding in the middle of an attack. That's okay. That's fine. Get that, get that all repaired. Everything's getting repaired. Looking good. Okay, let's check on this. Distance of target. Hopefully this torpedo does just not launch out the tube and uh, drop immediately straight down to the seafloor. We are going to launch from a very, very close range. Okay, everyone's all patched up. We're repairing stuff. Good, good, good. Continue racing in. 800 meters, 300 meters is the arming distance. We should search the boat now. I don't want to search the boat. I don't care. We're just going to blast this thing out of the water. Speed 44 knots, AOB 80, range 600 and 66 meters. Target is starting to turn to port. Counting towers repaired. Good. Good work. Good work. Good work. And all that damage proved to be kind of minor. Okay, continue to close. Go to the TDC, check the tubes. It is flooded, speed 44 knots, depth 2.5 meters. Take a look here. On eights. Make sure we are tracking using the attack scope. There we go. All right, tube two, or tube three, excuse me, AOB's 90 starboard set. Los. 40 second run time. Take a look at the map here. That torpedo is running for the target. There we go, that's what we like to see. That Corvette's trying to come and get us. I see her moving in. We're gonna continue on this course though. Target is turning, oof. I'm imagining this in my head. I think we're going to have an impact. 10 seconds. Come on. There we go, directly amidships. Fantastic. Serious damage. Yeah, it certainly looks like it. Okay. Wolfgang. Go to the bridge. Get on the bridge. Now we really need to send these messages off. I need you... Get on the diesel engines. And come 36 degrees starboard. I'm right. Oh man. Those flares getting shot up over us is uh, pretty darn cool. There's the Corvette. Okay, the enemy target's sinking. There's a Corvette closing in on us. That's our time to run. Report has been sent off. We are now making 11 knots. Okay. Keep on running. Yeah, these ships have star shells all over the convoy. Shoot that off to FDU. What an attack. And that ship immediately went down. Poof. Okay. Let's see. Are they actually shooting? I don't think they really see us. They are all really far out there. They're launching all these star shells and flares. Illuminating the ocean, but we're kind of out of range. They are moving kind of fast, though. We'll see if we can give them the slip on the surface. If not, we will submerge the boat. We are continuing to race away, and oh boy, I must say, they are getting a little close for comfort. Let's change course here. Take a look at them. There's the two Corvettes out there. We may have to submerge here soon. We are going to continue to run on the surface, though. This is when I wish we were in a Type 7. If we were in a Type 7, we would be booking it at 13 knots. 
there any more I can get out of these diesels? I really don't think so, unfortunately. They're going as fast as they can. We're making 13 knots here. Crew's getting a little stressed out, probably because we're being hunted. Discipline is still good, though. We're burning a lot of fuel doing this, but that's fine. And uh, we are completely out of torpedoes, so we will be heading on home now. We are not on the receiving end of any gunfire at the moment, which is also good. Just some star shells pretty far back there. Let's check on our friends. They may be kind of searching over to the right, which would be, would be good. Who knows? Oh man, they are moving fast though. I feel okay. How far are we from the targets? We are 2.5 kilometers away from the closest Corvette. We are starting to lose visual on the Corvettes. They're lagging behind and turning around. We've done it, folks. We're going to continue our escape. They're turning back. Oh my gosh, and the game's saving. <laughs> That's good. Okay. Wow. I, I think we're going to get out of here. They're turning around. They're breaking off. And we are now losing contact. Continue. Continue using time compression here. Oh my gosh. You four, you've done it. We've done it. We did get hit in the conning tower here. We have a little scorch mark there. Luckily, it didn't do too much damage. And we did have two crew members who got wounded. But we are alive. That was a high risk, high reward operation and it certainly has paid off. We are going to continue moving at 13 knots, trying to get the heck out of here. I'm going to unassign some crew though, so we can start getting some rest. We do need some rest here. And we are going to head back to port. Now we can click this to return back to port, uh, but I like sailing there myself. You never know what will happen when crossing uh, or transiting on your way home. So just teleporting back isn't as fun for me. So I will see you hopefully at Willemshaven, if uh, nothing happens. The journey back to our home port was incredibly uneventful. We are currently going through the locks now, and within a few minutes, we will be dockside. Overall, a pretty successful patrol. It is unfortunate we were not able to sink the Empire Blessing, that one target we are, were assigned to sink, but uh, it was going to be hard to track down that convoy, especially with the low speed of the Type 2, which we are currently operating in. I would like to upgrade our U-boat to a Type 2B here relatively soon. Hopefully we will get the opportunity to do that. And there we go. We are now... Pier side, let's take a look and see how we did overall. Let's go and chat with our leading officer. Hello, sir. Hello, Klaus. Deeply impressed by your last patrol. Solid work, Captain. Okay. Starting to receive some new medals. U boat war badge. There we go. Everyone should be getting one of those after their first patrol. And it looks like Haro Von Dresky is also getting the Iron Cross second class. That is our radio operator. He's on his way to receiving the Iron Cross first class. And let's see, Hubert, you bought war badge. Okay, and what about us? What did Wolfgang get? Iron Cross first class. There we go. And we are working our way to the German Cross and Gold. Almost there. One more patrol ought to do it. And we also received the U boat war badge. Okay, working on completing the Tonnage War mission, and oof, almost got there. We destroyed the Olana. These, all these ships were really in that one convoy. Empire Unicorn, and then the Empire Leopard. All three ships sunk, not too shabby. Uh, apparently we did find the Empire Blessing ship. Um, I think we may have gotten it on Hydrophone Contact. Uh, I don't think it was in the convoy we were actually attacking, but yeah, that tanker was 9,744 tons. That was a large, large ship. Okay, good stuff. 
and a lot of my crew has leveled up, I will do that off screen. Let's take a look at future missions. Um, any new orders? Our eyes only. We can do a mine laying mission. That actually could be fun. Oh, no, maybe not. We only have these two. We can operate an AN-1 again or AN-16-52. to Let's do AN-1. Uh, difficulty's high there. Yeah, we want to do the high difficulty missions, of course, because those are fun. That is what we enjoy. Let's see. I want to take command of a different U-boat. I see if the type 2D is available, and indeed it is not. We have not unlocked it just yet, but this will certainly be our next upgrade here soon. Well, folks, that is going to do it for today's video. I do hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment, as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I'll see you all on the next one.